Hello everyone, my name is Arpit. I'm pursuing my engineering degree from IPS College in Thor. I'm finally a student on this platform. Me and my team, Akash Daima, Abhishek Shukla, Abhishek Solanki, Anmol Kumar, Anshul Purva will be delivering the project that we have started on 7th semester on the topic Assessment of Fire Safety and Evacuation Management in Group B Building of Indore City and the guidance of Mr. Yashwant Puke, Assistant Professor, Fire and Safety Department. This project is submitted to Rajiv Gandhi Privy. The content of the project. The content of the project includes objective of the project, background and motivation, scope of the project, literature review, area of study, proposed plan, survey sheet and the references. Objective of the project will be delivered by me. Background and motivation will be given by Abhishek Shukla. Scope of the project will be given by Anmol Kumar. Literature review will be given by Abhishek Solanki. Area of study will be given by Akash Daima. Proposed plan, survey sheet and the reference will be given by Arshul Porwar. So, here is the objective of the project. The objective of the project includes to create mass awareness amongst the school children and staff on the safety and other disasters to facilitate the schools to prepare school fire safety management plan for effective responses in emergency situations. Here schools and colleges are taken common. Our base uh, college uh, we have taken that is our own college IES college building block A and block B. The main objective is to create is to create or to remove the communication gap between the staff, students and in the case in the emergencies. We want to remove all the uncertainties that can happen during or after a fire or any emergency situation. So moving further on the further topics, Avishek Shukla will Good morning everyone. As we are moving forward in our project, I would like to tell the background and motivation of our project. We considered two case studies of the fire accident occurred in India. The first one is Kumbakonam fire accident. This fire accident occurred in 2004 in a Kumbakonam in Tanjau district of Tamil Nadu. It was occurred in the primary section of the Krishna English medium school in which 94 students were burned to death due to the thatched roof which caused fire on 16 July of 2004 and the second case study which was occurred in 2018 Rosemary school fire outbreak which occurred no injuries it was happened in Madurai district of Tamil Nadu in which a Rosemary school uh, the fire occurred at that place which was due to the short circuit and it damaged the notebook furniture and other electronic gadgets and now the next slide is scope of, of the project which is narrated by Anmol Kumar. Uh, as my friend introduced me, I am Anmol Kumar. I am going to tell you about the scope of the project. So to check the compliance of the fire safety norms according to National Building Codes Part 4, to look over the emergency evacuation plan and to create completely secured fire and safety facilities which can be deal with the efficiency and a proper emergency plan is to be created with the help of which at the time of emergency effective evacuation can be carried out without any confusion regarding which route is to be taken in school, colleges and coaching classes of indoor city. Fire safety and evacuation management response and guide during any emergency or an event and aids in directing emergency activities towards reaching an agreed upon goal. Group B building, fire safety and evacuation management procedures are scalable in order to address incidents that may develop over time and those that may occur without warning. Good morning one and all. As my friend introduced me, I am Abhishek Solanki and my topic is literature review. The literature we have taken are as follows. The first literature is published in 2018 which is computer simulation and fire drill in an educational building. In this the author tries to analyze and compare the evacuation times of a fire drill and a computer simulation in which he finds out that computer simulation is the best way to find out the evacuation time because in 
computer simulation pre evacuation time is 0 seconds and in fire drill the person takes 30 seconds for a pre evacuation the second literature is published in 2017 which is human behavior during evacuation of primary schools in this literature the author finds out that the children are more vulnerable at the time of evacuation and takes more time at the staircase this vulnerability is decreases in with increase with the age the third uh, the third literature is published in 2017 which is perspectives of occupants with mobility impairments on evacuation methods for using for use during fire emergencies in this the this literature is for with is for mobility impaired persons in which uh, different uh, interviews are taken of mobility impaired persons of different metropolitan cities of us and since we know that occupants evacuation elevators are there for are designed for mobility impaired persons since we have known by the interview that what are the uh, drawbacks of these and what should be uh, introduced which should be helpful for the evacuation of these mobility impaired persons the next literature is published in 2017 2016 which is the collection and compilation of school evacuation data for model use in this data collected of five evacuation in which four are unplanned or which are not uh, told to the persons while one was semi announced in which we have uh, tried to find out the pre evacuation time travel speed route use and evacuation arrival and curves which are used for the development and uh, development of evacuation models and their application the next literature is uh, published in 2016 which is fire risk perception and building evacuation by vulnerable persons points of use of lay persons fire victims and experts in this uh, literature the author also takes the uh, interview with with experts lay persons and fire victims in which author finds out that risk perception is influenced by the by the psychological social physical and political and cultural factors uh, which is uh, provided in this literature the next literature published in 2015 which is a pattern of fire risk assessment and emergency management in educational center laboratories this work tried to develop a quantitative risk assessment model based on empirical data in an educational center laboratory hence since we know that there are many uh, chemicals and uh, things which is used in laboratories which are very hazardous therefore it is very essential that we find uh, we have developed the risk assessment model for the educational building laboratories the next uh, let, uh, the next literature is published in 2014 which is appraisal of fire safety management systems at educational building since we know that educational building is the mon uh, is a very common buildings and are very important for as the view of uh, government policies uh, because so we have to develop the in this literature we have to develop many safety uh, safety management systems for the educational buildings which should be used in future so that uh, no fatality should occur at the time of evacuation or any fire in the educational buildings the next literature is uh, published in 2012 uh, which is analysis of performance based fire safety evacuation in a college library and the next then the last uh, literature is published in 2010 which is building safety and human behavior in fire good morning friends i am akash daima and i will continue to the topic area of study area of our area of study is educational building which comes into the category of group b building this shall include any building used for school colleges or other training institution or daycare purposes involving assembly for instruction education or recreation for not less than 20 students building and structure under group b shall be further subdivided as follows subdivision 1 p1 is schools up to senior secondary level and subdivision 2 which is b2 all other training institution subdivision b1 is schools up to senior secondary level the subdivision shall include any building or group of building under single management which is used for students not less than 20 in number and subdivision B2 is uh, all other training institutions involving coaching classes, schools and other institutions. This subdivision shall include any building or group of building under single management which is used for students not less than 100 in number. So uh, students 
and the number of student does matter which is not less than 100 if a residential accommodation is provided in the school or institution that portion of the building occupancy shall be classified as a building sub building in subdivision a3 now let's next move to the uh, next slide which is continue uh, educational building of indoor city there are 249 schools in 215 colleges in indoor the fire safety and evacuation management of the area considering an emergency now my friend anshul parwal will continue to the top like to continue with the proposed plan fire safety and evacuation management plays a major role in case of any fire incident disaster and emer any emergency as in this project things will be dealt with assessment of fire safety and evacuation management in group b building which majorly covers the schools and colleges and other educational buildings. During an emergency, if proper training is not provided, then it can lead to a certainty, which can lead to life of occupants present in building, especially the minor ones. In this project, the assessment of fire safety and evacuation management will be done in some of the educational buildings of Indore City. Uh, hereafter, a service sheet is being provided on which a number of conditions have been mentioned and uh, two columns have been provided of which uh, one is to one is given to if uh, the condition is being satisfied or not and uh, another one is of area of improvement improvement uh, so if the condition is being not satisfied then we will have to fill the column and uh, tell what uh, what conditions are to be fulfilled and how are we are how we are going to fulfill it uh, there comes the next PPT which includes the IES for IPS Academy data of block A and block B which includes all the room and their sizes and their height and width which tells us uh, which describes us about the whole whole area and whole uh, whole building dimensions uh, and the number of classrooms and the number of exit routes and their widths. Uh, thereafter comes the uh, data analysis of the building where which includes firefighting installation in the building. Storage tank capacity is uh, 40,000 liters. Capacity of the pumps, that is the main pump, is uh, 1,650 lpm, and that of the jockey pump is 900 lpm. The uh, hydrant system is being not provided. Hose reel, 12, ho 12 hose reels on uh, block A and B. The sprinkler system is being not provided. Uh, there comes after uh, it is the block B, in which library and student section are at the top of the building on the fifth floor. Uh, the total build up area is being provided and number of chairs and tables being also provided. Uh, the problem with the library is only one exit route is being provided in it and uh, there are a lack of fire safety precautions in it too. Observed shortcomings, uh, there are been few photos attached from us which can tell you that which can lead to a fatality or an injury. Uh, observed shortcomings. The storage tank should be of capacity which can fight two major fires at a time according to NBC part 4 life and safety uh, inadequate number of hose reels and hose reel quality firefighting facilities in chemical labs improper lightning in exit route and in block B size of doors in the exit route on staircase firefighting installation are not sufficient for auditorium there shall be two exits one for emergency accordingly the the thread and the risers of stairs that ex, that connects block a and block b are inadequate the gap between the railings are in excess and they are also fragile inadequate firefighting installation in library of ies building uh, here are some references and i would here like to conclude 